Who do you think has brought more misery to the Palestinian Arabs? America, Israel, or maybe it's their own Palestinian Authority? Last Friday night, the Palestinian Authority arrested businessman Saleh Abu Mayala from Hebron. Now, he had just returned from Jared Kushner's economic workshop in Bahrain, aimed specifically at helping the Palestinian economy. Abu Mayala was part of a small group of courageous Palestinian Arab businessmen who want to see their people prosper and coexist with Israel. However, PLO officials, including Saeed Barakat, attacked the Bahrain meeting and called on every Palestinian to boycott it and anyone who took part in efforts towards normalization. Recently on I-24 TV, former PA Minister Ashraf Al-Ajrami told me just that in a live television debate. There are people who are isolated totally from the Palestinian uh, society. They will be punished totally. President Trump's Peace to Prosperity initiative comes against the backdrop of two failed Palestinian entities, one in Judea and Samaria, the other one in the Gaza Strip. Corruption, mismanagement of resources, restricted power, collapsing sewer systems have relegated the PLO to third world status. National elections in the PA have not taken place since 2005. In 2007, the regressive Hamas regime captured Gaza, and since then, both governments have been ruling without a mandate from the people. Both governments also suppress free speech and democratic activities. Both prefer to divert whatever resources they do have to war against Israel. For example, in 2018, the PA paid a whopping $330 million to so-called martyrs. Yet to sustain continued outrage against Israel, they cut the pay of their government employees by 40%. At the same time, the leadership got a raise of 67%. Mahmoud Abbas's mentor Yasser Arafat embezzled billions of dollars from international donations. Abbas's own net worth is estimated at $100 million. Check Wikipedia. In short, the PA is corrupt and jihadist and is not only anti-Israel, but it brutally suppresses its own society. So all the liberal-minded folks out there who fight for a two-state solution should know that when they defend the Palestinian Authority, in reality, they help entrench the brutalization, suppression, and brainwashing of the very people they wish to help.